hours of eating Thai street food here in Krabi Town at all the night markets, uh, all the markets, five markets in total. Whew, what a feast. Reminds you of New York growing up when I would eat Zeppelis at street fairs like this. So the fitting where the night market, eating freshly fried dough brings me back. It's even better when you had that, you had the meat and then you mix it with basil. Ah, so good. Two nem cow. Here is stop number one. This is probably our favorite nem cow in Chubby Town. <laughs> this nem cow we've had in a long time. It's actually one of our favorite dishes we've ever eaten in our lives. And we just stumbled this place the last, uh, the first time we came in here, and wow, it was so good that we're back here. Here at Pudom Krabi Night Market. Mm -hmm. This market's open every night starting at 5 o'clock till about 9, 10 o'clock. It's right by the waterfront too, which is very nice, right across the street. And Pudam actually means black crab in Thai. That's why you see a big black crab behind us. <laughs> so we're actually at this night market for one dish, one dish only. And it's this dish. Can't yeah. wait to have this. This is Nam Kao. Yeah, it's called Nam Kao. We actually first tried it, our good friend Manila, he's Lao. We actually put it in our Queen's Night Market video. We'll put it up here if you wanna check that out. It's a Lao dish, also found Northeast Thailand. It's very hard to find. So we came in here, this night market. We didn't even know this night market exists. We were walking around. We spotted a bowl of rice, and it reminds me of our friend's dish. The aroma alone is just incredible. I'm gonna break it down. This dish has got so much going on to it. Gotta break it down for you, but I'm gonna take a bite first. <laughs> this dish really has it all. The so nem cow, it's a crispy rice dish. You actually have the whole balls of rice. It's got coconut in it, curry, lime leaves. Lime leaves are very big in this. It's formed as a ball and deep fried. So the entire ball of rice gets fried. So it has all those crispy edges. It's broken up into little crispy bits, because that's why the whole texture is crispy. Every bite you get is crispy. And they give us this vegetable all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap around. Well, this vegetable has a hole in it. <laughs> Just eat mine. Mmm. There's also shards of ginger in here, which she had not had in Nam Kao before. There's lime leaf flavor in that rice, which is big. And then she mixes up, she has scallions in here, other fresh vegetables, red onions. Mix it all together, she gets all those flavors together. So it's like funky, spicy, sour, sweet. And then at the very end, she tops it off with some peanuts and some dried chilies. You get some extra crunch and extra heat. And this dish has really got it all. That's why we say, not even one of our favorite dishes here, one of our favorite dishes anywhere. And this version is as good a version as we have ever had. Dinner. That stop number one was so delicious. Incredible. Highly recommend it. It's a cool little night market too. Like it's a lot of locals there. It's got a lot of food stalls, but we highly recommend going to that Nemkow stall. It's very special.
But now since it's a Sunday, it's a weekend, we're gonna take you to a weekend only night market up next. So we spotted this donut. So when it comes to night markets, kind of learned over the years, one of the best things to check out, always go to the ones that's very interactive, a lot of people waiting. That's exactly what I did. So I went to check out this stall selling, it's called Patong Ko. It's like a fried donut. It reminds me a lot of like the Yu Tiao, like the Chinese curler. But they also serve it with a dipping sauce. This one's a Thai tea dipping sauce. Ooh, looks good. Freshly fried. You see them making it fresh, step by step. Try to bite it by itself first. Mm. Very light, crispy, pretty airy inside. I think it has a little bit of a sourdough tang to it, which I love. I just love seeing them make it fresh. You see them just all night long, they're just fresh, freshly frying them on the oil. And I try it with this Thai tea custard. Look at that. Mm. The coffee doesn't have that strong of a Thai tea flavor, but it's there enough. I can't even eat this just by itself. It reminds me of New York growing up when I would eat Zeppelis at street fairs like this. So the fitting it where in a night market, eating freshly fried dough brings me back. Yep. One. Right, 24 hours of markets here in Krabi Town. Won't go hungry here. You never really run out of markets here. Oh. Yep, they call it dog conch. <laughs> in Thai, it's called Poi Chaktin. Keeping it light. We ate a lot in the last almost 24 hours now. And we picked the meat. Come this on. It's a very famous dish here in Krabi Town. Aside from its crabs. You do, you just pull it right out the shell. They give you a toothpick, but it's easier to pull it. I do that. Yeah. Jumi technique. I was trying to make it work with the toothpick, but it didn't work. So here we are. Mm. Mm. You know, it's almost like a nice briny sea flavor. Like, good, a little bit of chewiness to it, too, but not like in a bad way. Very fresh. They also give this nice chili, lime, garlic dip sauce. I love the look of these shells, too. It's so cool. Who's there on their own? You gotta try it with that dipping sauce too. Mm. Here at Krabi Town, so we're eating fresh seafood by the riverfront. This is made fresh.
stir fried clam and basil and chili. These are really juicy lala. Sometimes you get lala and the meat is kind of small. Skinny. Yeah, it's kind of just minimal clam meat inside. This one's not that. This is very generous clam meat. It's even better when you had that, you had the meat and then you mix it with basil. Ah, so good. I like about these lala too, you can really taste the wok hay. Very smoky and cooking that wok. Really nice with that basil, onion. Not too spicy either. You know, it's that nice, fragrant, holy Thai basil. That's the good stuff. It goes so perfectly with the lala. The chow fa pier night market. It's really more like an outdoor, fresh to made, freshly made to order type spot. There's probably about a 15, 20 stalls here. And you know, different nights, different ones will be open, but this overall is open every single night. It's mango sticky rice. That's our dessert. We're not gonna show it to you because you pretty much know what mango sticky rice is. We've been eating it every single day, so it's multiple times a day here because mango is in season and it's incredible and it's low price. <laughs> Hours of eating Thai street food here in Krabi Town at all the night markets, uh, all the markets, five markets in total. Whew, what a feast.